everyone, this is Wade from fishfindermounts.com. And at the beginning of this video, you would have seen a card showing, showing all of our contact information. Just keep that in mind because you may need to contact us to get your ultimate portable fish finder mounting system. We are making all fish finders portable. I want to show you guys today a couple of tips and tricks with your Garmin live scope stuff. A lot of guys ask me about this. There's a, when it comes to putting it on a 30 amp hour kit, just wanted the camera to come in here for us. Here is your panel, guys, your panel. And so what would happen is your power for your screen, here's a screen as an example. You've got your connectors in the back and your Garmin screen, this is a 90, 93 SV basically. Um, you're gonna run your cables to this port here, port four. And with your GLS 10, now these are the power cables, right guys? These are the power cables. The GLS 10 power cable, you can see Here's power right here, okay? You can see they're marked red. So you're gonna bring your cable for, from this one to here, to this port, this SAE port. Port number, I believe that's two, correct Al? Correct. Okay. So we've got port number two for your GLS 10 black box, port number four, and you can see the ports, if the camera comes really close, right here, you can see the little numbers here, right? So position number one, two, even the switch has one, three, and four. Okay, guys, four is for your screen. Two is for your GLS 10 black box. Now, I wanna show you guys, so that's one thing that guys ask me quite a bit about when it comes particular to our products. The next thing is guys have problems with is this cord here. They don't realize, and I had a little bit of an issue with this too. For some reason, Garmin made a little connector piece. It's a little connector piece where you connect two cables that are basically identical to make them longer. I don't know why they did this, but here you go. You need to add this little assembly on here, right here, this little extra piece of cable. You see this, guys? You're, this is your network cable. So you need to add this on in, in their typical kits. You need to plug this together and screw it together. So a lot, I think a lot of people miss that particular operation here when dealing with the wiring part of your um, live scope system. Now, particularly, so th again, this is the network cable. What is the network cable? Well, it's got this ending on it for all, all those people that aren't the best with what wiring looks like and whatnot. This is the network cable with this fancy um, Cat5 style of connector here. And then it ends off and it terminates off here. It's black to black. You see, this is all black. There's no colors. Well, here's where it's going to go on to, guys, right here. You can see it says NMEA, that's network, you know, whatever, um, port. It's a network port here, this black one. Okay, so that's out of the way. The next thing that's very important, um, and a lot of people ask, unfortunately, is we have this cable set you're gonna get. When you buy this 30 amp hour kit from us to make your fish finder completely portable, okay, you're going to want to you're gonna to need to crimp these cables, this cable set. Can we come close? I'm gonna look at this cable set here. Come close down onto that cable set. Okay. Now, we're gonna to have to crimp these two. Why do we do this? Because this gives you that SAE plug that looks like this, that's going to plug into these ports right here. Right, your port two and four, your position two and four on the front panel of the 30 amp hour portable power center mounting system here. So you can see this plug, you can see it goes in like so, bang, right, nice. And um, so it's intrinsically safe because this one, this, this post here is, is, is uh, shielded off with plastic so you can't easily or at all, uh, you have to be very, very willing to try to um, short them. <clears throat> and that's why, they're, that's why I picked these and that's why they're good, is because it's very safe. Now, talking about these guys here, I've already done this job, guys. I've already done this job. And what do I mean by this job? The crimping job, you see? Camera needs to come very close here. This is the crimping job. So these cables here, you see these cables here, guys? This is for, you can see, I'll prove it, this is your power, let's, let's separate these cables. 
This, these two are both power cables. One is for your screen, and one is for your GLL, GLS 10 black box. So look at it. This is for the screen, right? There's your power. There's your red to red, red to red. They cold color code them, which is a good idea. Yes, it is right. So this is red to red. There's a little twist it. There's a little nipple. There. There's a little notch there that it like meant that, that gets it lined up. So it should be. You should twist this until it falls in. Oh, nice. Now it just fell in. Then you just screw that together. Right, guys? That's how you, you do it. So that's the power cable there. Now notice these wires. These wires are actually very thin. You can see the cage is almost, not, it's, it's not much here, guys. Um, so, of course, that you see here is this guy crimped on. You see that? Or actually, this way, sorry. My apologies. That's like this. So you're going to be doing... You're gonna be doing that operation. You're gonna crimp. Now, I'm gonna show you the operation. Same thing though with the GLS-10. Before I do the actual operation, the GLS-10. Now, what, what happens here is this GLS-10, these wires, now I've had to strip them. So what happens, they come tinned. What, what that means is that they're soldered. They pre-soldered. They have some solder, like holding all the wires together and it makes it a little too thick to get it into these butt splice connectors here. These are butt splice connectors, meaning it connects wire to wire by crimping only. So you have to, when it comes to this GLS-10 power cable, you're gonna to need to cut off the, the, the remnant of wire that's there, that's visible, because that's got solder in it, making it too fat to insert into this little hole. Once you do that, then you restrip. So you cut, cut, restrip with this tool, the jacketing, strip it. You only need like a quarter inch stripped off. And then once you've done that, the wire now will not have that solder in it. It should be just, just thin enough to be able to push these on. Black to black, red to red. Now you see these other cables, guys? A lot of guys ask this too. There's a blue one and there's a brown one. You see these? You don't need them. Don't worry about those. All you're doing when it comes to making your fish finder portable, your live scope portable, using the 30 amp hour portable power center only from fishfindermouse.com. All you're doing, all you're gonna need is the red and black wires, both for this GLS 10 box and both for your, and for your fish finder power, okay? The blue and brown, just ignore them, tape them back. Whatever you wanna do, you can cut them back. Um, you're not gonna need those whatsoever. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do the actual cut of crimping or the um, wire option, uh, um, wire wiring um, operation. The crimping operation. I'm going to use this just as. I'm just going to use this as um, an ex demonstration or example. Okay, so this is how you do it: to to crimp or to do your um, stripping, right? To strip the wires, you'll get your stripper, and I, I like to take my hand, and a as I've pushed down, I use my thumb to push, and I'm I'm holding it in my hand like this. And this is a very nice way of doing it, guys. And I've done this for years, so I know what I'm doing. Oh, that's a little doll. We're just gonna take these cables and just trim them off nice, so they're nice and square. And then what we wanna do is we wanna twist these up nice, like this, in your fingers, right? So the camera comes close. You see how that's all frayed up? Well, now I've twisted it together. So we wanna twist this together. Twist this with your hands. And then we're gonna take our, 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 this is gonna be the pack of wires. You're gonna get two of them in your 30 amp hour kit, right? These two here, you get two, and we're just gonna take one. Now this is, this is just an example, like an example, but one would be a red, as you see here. One would be red, and one would be black. Oh, this is all black, so just ignore that fact, guys. It's red to red and black to black, but I'm gonna show you the connection operation here, so you can see the wires slip together like this. And you're gonna take your crimper. I suggest guys to get a decent one of these or borrow a friend, something that's decent. There's some really junky ones out there. And you're just gonna take it and see, I've got it in the red receptacle in this, this one. That means it's for any one of these like butt splice connectors. 
that are red should go in here. If they're blue, they'd go in here. If they're yellow, they'd go in here. But we're dealing with red. It's a gauge size thing, but you don't need to worry about it. You don't need to think about it. Just use the red. Um, if you've got some fancier one or a nice one like these, these crimpers here for your butt splice operation. And we're gonna take this guy, same thing one more time, guys. We're taking it, pushing it together. We take our crimpers. We line it up, as you see here, and just squish it closed. Now I like to do um, a little bit more. A lot of people say you don't need to do this, but I don't care. I'm, I like to put two side by side. I like to make it just boss. Oops, that was the wrong way. The main thing is to keep these, these wires connected. See, I'm pulling on this hard. They're not coming apart. So that's a successful operation, these two guys. Um, so here you see that I've done this before, right? You see these together, crimp together. Remember, once again, red to red, black to black. Also in these kits, notice guys, if you screw up, we do give you some extra of these butt splices so that you can cr cut everything off and recrimp everything. So we give you a few extra, like four extra tubes. So you got three chances at it. <laughs> okay? So just, if you don't get a good connection or things don't power up, it's maybe, maybe it's very likely that you didn't do a very good crimping operation. So make sure you do a good job of that, just as I showed you, red to red, black to black. Remember, one last time, I'm gonna repeat it one last time, in your GLS-10 power cord, very thick wiring coming out of it, thick gauge. In this, in this situation, guys, you need to cut off the ends of the wire that's exposed. You have to cut it off because it's infused with solder, making the wire too thick to fit into these tubes of ours, these butt splice tubes. Cut that off, re-strip the jacketing so you expose the wire again. Now there won't be any solder in it. Now you'll be able to slip these on. You'll just be able to just get them on nicely and slip those on, then finish the crimping operation as I just showed you, okay guys? So this is Wade from fishfindermounts.com and I will just show you right here, let's just do this guy here. This is the seven inch Garmin, which is compatible with live scope, at least today it is. And there you have your awesome portable power center here with your, <laughs> your seven inch screen here, but you can put this bigger guy on here. Um, just note too, when you're ordering our portable power center from fishfindermounts.com, you can see how you can elevate this guy. You can move this screen up and down on this shaft. You can get a longer shaft. You can make this very tall if you want. This is amazing for fish, for ice fishing guys as well. Um, nobody has this. All the shuttles that are out there and everything, your screen is down on the ground, but not with fishfindermounts.com. This is what's so awesome about what, what we do. We're always thinking about the ergonomics, the convenience of our mounting products for your application, your live scope, your li active target, your mega live application. We're always thinking about that. So here you have all of you, everything you need, you know, and then with our uh, pole mounts, which you can check out on our website under live sonar mounts. So go to fishfindermounts.com, go to shop and go to live sonar mounts. Shop is at the top left corner of your screen, just under our logo. And then underneath shop is going to be the category live sonar mounts or live scope mounts. Click on that and you'll see many of just a very large array of products there that are going to be giving you, um, there, there's going to be something there for you that will be perfect for your application. And make sure if you're confused, there's a lot of products there, guys. So just call us. Our toll-free number is at the top right corner of our screen, 1-855-784-3474. And I'm Wade. Thanks for watching, everybody.